This is the daily video update for Friday, March 19th, 2021 for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. We are closing out our series today on uh, the Congregational Covenant of Right Relations. It's the document that this congregation passed at a congregational meeting in May of 2017 that hangs on the wall as you enter our building. It is the set of things that, that we hold as sacred with one another, that we say, this is how we will behave with each other. This, these are the values that we will uphold as a community. It's been good to go through it. You know, I, I think covenants are only as valuable as, as how often they're used. And I do actually feel bad. This was passed a month before I started, so we didn't have a chance to really go through and, and do it step by step when I was in my first year. There's a you know, to-do list as a first year in ministry is 900 pages long, and you're lucky if you get through the first 50. But it's better late than never. So we're closing out the series now. We're going to close it out with engagement, and then we'll pick up next week uh, with something else. Or rather, not next week. Next week, I am on vacation. This will be the first time I've had uh, a, a week away from the congregation that was not a holiday in over a year. Um, so there will not be daily updates next week. Uh, they will pick up again on Monday the 29th. So I will see you then. But for now, to close out our series on the Congregational Covenant of Right Relations, the last value that the covenant draws out is that of engagement. In part, the covenant says, this is expressed in our mission statement in the words, show up. Talking the talk is important, but without walking the walk, we don't really have the chance to live our principles fully or model them in the larger community. So we strive to give time and attention to e-blasts, board minutes, newsletter articles, town halls, and congregational meetings so we are informed and can participate in church government governance. Acknowledge, welcome, and seek to know and build relationships with members and friends. Educate ourselves on social issues, speak out and act out civilly against injustice, and participate in activities and organizations that support UU principles. Open ourselves to engagement with the larger Unitarian Universalist faith and share our experiences. Participate in training activities that ready us to take on leadership roles. Offer time and financial support when possible for any member who is willing to advance through the leadership life cycle. Assist with and support outreach and ministry at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. The mission statement of this congregation ends with the phrase, and we show up. It's one of the beautiful things about this congregation. It's one of the things that drew Stacy and I to Nebraska is that often this congregation shows up in ways that we don't expect ahead of time. All of a sudden, there are Unitarians everywhere. We <laughs> at um, General Assembly in Kansas City a year after this covenant was passed, dozens of members of this congregation engaged with the National Unitarian Universalist Movement and showed up in Kansas City. This fall, when we did Beloved Conversations, I, I, t <laughs> I had colleagues who would say, gosh, I, this is a really important thing, and I'm trying to get two of my lay leaders to come do this program with me. How are you doing in Lincoln? And I would be a little embarrassed because the, the truthful answer would be to say, well, 40 of our members, 10% of our membership have signed up for this program. Um, and, uh, and I'm not particularly worried about our, our recruiting or our capacity to show up when things are important. I know that's looked a lot different in the last year. You know, to engage with an online church looks a hell of a lot different than engaging with a church in person. It can't look like potlucks right now.
And it's hard to see how people are engaged from, from where I sit. You know, I, I know how many people watch these updates every day. I don't know who those people are. YouTube doesn't give us that information. I don't have the capacity to be in the receiving line on Sunday morning and, and see everybody and see who's doing well and who I haven't seen in four or five weeks. So some of the work of engagement has been tough the last year. But covenants are also about trust. And I, I know that the congregation that called me in 2017 is the same congregation that exists right now. So I know that this is a congregation that engages. This is a congregation that shows up. And I know when we have the capacity to show up together again, that we are going to see each other and you all are going to show up. Anyway. I am looking forward to vacation. It will be uh, tough to be away from work for a week, frankly, um, but I think it'll be it'll be good for me and good for the congregation to to get a little bit of time like that. So have a great week. Um, we've got a great uh, guest preacher lined up uh, for this Sunday. Nope. I'm preaching on Sunday. We've got a great guest preacher lined up for the following Sunday, the 28th. Reverend Kimberly Debus, our affiliate community minister, is preaching on See the Whole Board. She's talking about Palm Sunday and the TV show The West Wing. It's going to be a lot of fun. Have a great week, and I will see you on the 29th.